What is hull speed? Well, if you're new to sailing like I was, this question comes up all the time on the different forums because you're looking at all these boats that you really, really want to buy and you see that little hull speed number and you're like, huh, what does that actually mean? Well, in a nutshell, it means the boat starts to go fast enough that it climbs its own bow wake. Now, why does a boat start climbing its own bow wake? Well, it comes down to Archimedes' principle and the basic laws of physics. So if your boat displaces so much water underneath because of its weight, that water has to go somewhere. And this goes into your bow wave because you're trying to push it forward out of the way because the boat's going forward. Now this, just like a bulldozer clearing land, leaves a path behind it. This is known as the trough of the wave. So it's a little lower spot in the water because of all that water that's been pushed forward. Now what happens at hull speed is your boat starts to go fast enough where that trough gets behind the center of gravity of your boat and the boat is actually lifted up in the front. So it starts to fight gravity itself as it tries to climb this hill of its bow wave. And that's where you hit your theoretical hull speed, the point of diminishing return for how much sail you put on essentially. So this is where you also become overpowered. So this is why you start reefing in sails, stuff like that, because the more sail you have up at this point, you're basically putting extra unnecessary stress on your rigging because you're having a diminishing return for that amount of sail. Now there are all ways to cheat hull speed. For example, you could put up a spinnaker. You could try to lift yourself out of the water to get your hull speed to be greater theoretically. You could also try to make a pointier bow so you cut through that bow wake and have an easier time going forward. So this is not your top speed, this is just the point of diminishing return for your standard displacement hauled boat. So if you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to subscribe and I'll see all of you in the next episode. And because you stuck around till the end of the video, I'm gonna give you the bonus formula for how you calculate hull speed. It's 1.34 times the square root of the waterline of your boat. This means the longer the boat, the faster it's going to be because of the higher hull speed.